Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm creating this beautiful rice paper decoupaged um, box. It's a cigar box. Uh, these are some of the supplies that I'll be using. Um, I didn't end up using the waxes um, as I didn't really create a lot of texture on this piece and it was just fine uh, without it. So, And then I'm going to be using these metal bits for my corners and then this beautiful rice paper from Stamperia. I've used this rice paper before on another project and absolutely love it. I'll be cutting out that sentiment and placing it on that wooden heart and then um, I um, will be using the black modeling paste to create some texture, my Liquitex matte medium. Um, I didn't end up using any of the reds on this piece. I just stuck with the green and then that kind of buff color. Um, and it was just beautiful. And then I used some crackle medium to create some beautiful crackle effect on the piece. Um, I do take off all of my hardware. Um, I don't uh, make you watch me struggle through that. I kind of just started it here. Um, I had the, I lost my um, screwdriver uh, that would actually have made this easier. So uh, it was a little bit of a frustrating experience. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then give the wood box a coat of gesso uh, just on the top of the box and then the sides on both the, um, the bottom piece and the top piece. The video does jump around a little bit because there's a lot of um, drying time uh, for the crackle steps as well as um, the fact that I'm working on two different substrates. So you'll see me kind of hopping around a little bit, but hopefully uh, it will make sense. Giving some a gesso coat to my wooden heart uh, because I will be adding some wet medium to that piece. And then I'm using my uh, Liquit uh, Liquitex Heavy Body um, Black Paint, Ivory Black, and I'm going to be giving a coat of paint to my little corner pieces. And the reason why I'm painting them black is because I did, um, I'm using the black modeling paste to create the texture using a stencil, so I wanted that to kind of match up. Making sure that my box is nice and dry before I move on to the next step. And then also making sure that my box, um, that the front of my box is um, is in the front <laughs> so that I don't uh, put my design on backwards or sideways. So, And then I went ahead and um, used this uh, deco art paint in natural buff and gave uh, a good coat um, to the um, top of the box. Um, it didn't end up being super necessary because um, the... Um, the rice paper, what I was hoping to do was have the rice paper uh, neutral neutral color there um, be what was behind it. Um, I don't think it was really necessary, but I did that anyway. It never hurts. And I'll be using my Liquitex matte medium to adhere my rice paper to the box. I do cut the rice paper down uh, mostly to size. I did end up um, needing to shave off or sand off some of it, but uh, it was better than having a big, uh, a big chunk um, that was overhanging. So that's what you see me doing there. And then when I apply the rice paper, I do apply a coat of the matte medium on the substrate and then place my rice paper down and then I apply matte medium on the top, working from the center out. It's really important to get this to adhere uh, completely. Um, otherwise, it, when you apply mediums on the top, it can create some problems with tearing and bubbling and things like that. I didn't end up doing a lot of texturing on this piece, just a little bit, so uh, it was it worked out okay. I just love the ease of using rice paper. It creates a really beautiful uh, start to your project and then you can kind of just spice it up with your own style. I really like that. And then here is my the bottom of my box. And again, I did um, give it a coat of paint. Um, and my first layer here is going to be deco art, premium, or deco art paint in avocado. And I'll be giving the first layer uh, per the crackle medium instructions. And then uh, you wait for that to 
um, mostly, well, to dry completely and then apply the crackle medium on the top. And then uh, when that is uh, mostly dry and just a little bit tacky, you apply your um, other color. Uh, as you'll see me do uh, as we move through the video, giving it a nice coat of um, the green here also uh, on the edges. Even though I don't crackle that part, um, I, I do go ahead and cover that. I will come back and uh, paint the inside of the box at the very end. And then um, I cut out my quote and in the shape of the heart, and then I'm giving it a good heat set because I do have a lot of issues with uh, printing this out on my inkjet printer and then it uh, runs when I try to apply the medium over the top. So I did heat it for quite a while and that did solve my problem. So I'm applying it with matte medium onto my wood heart and then I'm gonna set that aside and let it dry. And we'll be coming um, back uh, on that um, with some other coats and things as we move along. I did make sure that my uh, rice paper design there on the top of the box is completely dry. That's what you saw me doing there. And then here's the crackle medium step. So again, I waited for that green paint uh, on the bottom of the box to dry completely. And then I'm gonna apply a generous layer of the crackle medium. So I apply it um, just in a straight coat and then I go back and kind of add some, um, some globs <laughs> um, around the box because I really wanted it to have a really good crackle. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. And again, just making sure that that's nice and dry. It still was cool to the touch. So I wanted to make sure it was good and dry. And then here is where I'm gonna take my sand block and then just kind of um, sand off that extra edge. Um, this side did uh, um, stick a little bit, uh, must have hit some wet, uh, some wet glue, but it, it works out just fine. So again, sanding that off just to, um, just it's easier to than using scissors to get right up to the edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my first coat of the paint uh, using the Deco Art Avocado uh, in the same process in the same uh, manner as I did the bottom. So I'll give this a good coat and then I'll let it dry and then I'll come in with the crackle medium uh, once it's completely dry. And then again, making sure that my uh, wood heart and the sentiment is completely dry. I'm heating it with the heat tool again. And then I'll be giving it a glaze of raw umber um, fluid acrylic and my glazing medium. Oh, it looks like I did have a little bit more trimming to do there on the heart as well. Oh, I guess I'm not ready for the glaze. I apologize for that. Uh, just checking the bottom of my box to see if it's ready for the next step, and it looks like it is. It is slightly tacky, but not sopping wet. Um, so I'm using the Natural Buff. Again, that's the um, Deco Art um, acrylic paint. It's just a craft acrylic. I'm going give, to be giving a coat of the, um, the Natural Buff uh, to all the edges of the bottom of the box, and then I'll be letting that dry as well. Beautiful crackle already. It's almost immediate. Love it. And then going back to the top of my box and it looks like it is also ready for um, the next step. So going ahead and adding my crackle medium to the edges of the top of the box. And I'll set that aside to dry. I have kitchen paper underneath uh, on top of my surface and I wiped it um, and it, it just made a mess. So that's why I'm covering it up. I don't like to see that mess under under what I'm creating. It makes me very distracted. Uh, so uh, I'm covering that up with a paper towel. And here is where I'm coming in with my, um, my glaze of the raw umber and then the glazing medium. Gonna give it a couple of coats of the glaze here. I do do some finessing on this heart as we move along as I wasn't 
quite satisfied with the final look, but in the end I added some of the avocado um, in a glaze and it was exactly what it needed. So I'm just really wiping the center of that because I didn't want the sentiment itself to be obstructed by um, color. So that's what I'm doing there. And I just love the glaze. I just, it's so easy and it, um, it just gives a really nice look. I just kind of pounce on the surface with my paper or my wipe um, to give it kind of a mottled look uh, rather than um, kind of wiping it completely back. So, and then just painting the edges with some raw umber. It's been a while since I created, um, really still struggling with inspiration, but I thought I would just kind of go with my heart and, and create something that I'm super comfortable with. Um, and that tends to be um, the things that people like to see and, and like to have in their homes. So that's why I went ahead and did the cigar box and used this beautiful rice paper. Uh, again, that is from Stamperia. So I went ahead and gave my um, coat of the uh, natural buff to the edges of the top of the lid. Um, on top of that crackle medium and I'll let that dry applying some heavy gel um, this is Liquitex to the back of my heart so that I can adhere it to my surface it was really hard to not cover up some of the birds because they were so there were so many but I think the placement was just perfect for the for this piece so I was happy with it and then just uh, using a small paintbrush to get rid of any extra glue that's uh, oozing out underneath the heart. Then I'll be applying my little metal corner bits, again with the Liquitex Heavy Gel. And it's it can be so sticky to work with, so what I do is I place it down on the um, surface and then I use a wet baby wipe and press it down and that removes the extra glue that's coming through um, and it also makes it so that my fingers don't stick to my to my surface so it works out really well for me and I just love the ornate co uh, corners I think it's a real uh, compliment to the piece and this is where I decided to go ahead and do um, a, a excuse me, a glaze using the avocado paint and my glazing medium. It really, I really needed to bring that green out that's in the leaves of the design and this was just perfect. It was a great um, balance. And then when I come in and do some shading using my uh, soft pastel, um, it makes that heart pop even more than it is currently. So I'm going to be using my um, modeling paste. This is black modeling paste. And then this is one of my favorite pair of stencils, uh, doing just a little bit of stenciling of the script on the left hand side. And then I'll be doing some of that on the uh, right hand side as well. And then choosing um, a few of the other elements that are on the stencil um, here and there on the top of the box. I didn't want to do too much as it's just really beautiful all on its own, but it's really hard to avoid adding texture. Uh, it's my favorite part of creating. And it just really uh, spices up this this rice paper and kind of makes it makes it my own. So I really like it. And I haven't had black modeling paste before. I asked for it for my birthday, and my husband bought it. So I was I was super happy about that, and look forward to using it uh, more and more. And I'm going to be I wash off that stencil really good, and then I'm going to come in and use some of the other elements as I mentioned. Uh, there you can't kind of there you can see the numbers there number one two three four five just again another just a, just a really beautiful um, way to create some visual interest to the piece as well as a little bit of texture and then using that circle it's kind of a postage circle on the bottom and I'll be using another circle on the top just kind of spreading out those elements a little bit on the piece It is really important to um, put your stencil in water immediately after you use modeling paste, especially as it will ruin your stencil. I have an actual bucket of water that sits about five feet from my desk, so it works out just great. I just toss it in there and then take care of it later. 
And then there you can see the texture created by that crackle. And I wanted to uh, distress it a little bit more, so I'm using my sand block. Um, I should have waited for it to dry a little bit better because it didn't really sand off as easily as it should have, uh, but it, it worked out fine in the end. So I switched to a piece of sandpaper rather than the sand block. I believe my sand block is getting a little bit old and worn. And because I wanted to kind of uh, make the edges with this crackle a little bit more distressed um, than the white or this buff, the this buff color is doing, um, I do come in with a raw umber glaze um, on all of the sides on the top and the bottom to create a little bit more of a distressed look. Although the crackle is just beautiful. And so here's the glaze. And again, that's raw umber fluid acrylic from Golden and Golden Glazing Medium. And then wiping that back. I love, love how this looked um, because it didn't darken it up. It just uh, too much, um, but it gave it that hint of just being really, really old. I still struggle with staying in frame, so forgive me for when you can't see what I'm actually doing. Uh, my camera, again, sits pretty close to my surface, and I don't have a lot of options there, so uh, I kind of do the best that I can, um, but it works out okay. I have a pretty good setup for being kind of cheap. Not cheap. I'm frugal. Try to use what I have. And then doing the same with the top of the box on the edges, uh, sanding it down, sanding it down to give it more of a distressed look, and then applying the raw umber glaze as well to all of those sides, and then wiping it back. I had to be super careful because my the top of my piece was not completely dry. Um, the modeling paste probably was still a little bit tacky, so I'm being super careful there. And then there's just a close up. I just love just the little bit of dark that it brought to the edges. I think it was really what it needed to um, complement the, the entire box. Now I'm going to be painting the inside of the box with the um, Deco Art Avocado paint. And then again, coming around the edges just to give it another coat. And usually when I'm all done, I also, um, and I'm completely finished and ready to seal it, I do go ahead and give it another coat just because I want it to have really good coverage. And then coming in with my Rembrandt Soft Pastel in black and doing my edging. And then again, as I mentioned before, I am going to use the uh, Soft Pastel around the heart um, to really make that pop. And it really needed that because it's it kind of looked a little bit odd up to this point. Just a touch of brown. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I hope that you are well and everything is good in your life and that you're um, enjoying your family in the summer and the sunshine. I know that I am. We're on summer break, which is fantastic. Um, so here, just giving a coat of the um, avocado paint there in the middle. So thank you again so much for watching. Take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.